Hello everyone, this is Larry with Flint and Rod Outdoor Magazine. I'm uh, coming to you again uh, to show you uh, one more modification on my Smith & Wesson M&P 15 Sport AR. Uh, so I've gone out and purchased a scope, uh, which I got the Nikon P223 Precision AR Optic that was made for uh, the recoil of an AR, so it's uh, this is a three by nine or three to nine by forty uh, matte black with a BDC reticle, and I am going to be mounting that onto my AR using the Nikon M two two three mount for the AR platform. So I also went out and purchased. I was getting those items, a couple of the Butler Creek flip open optics protection. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get these installed onto my uh, scope so that I can make sure that the optics are protected uh, while I'm working on this. Uh, first of all, so the uh, Nikon P223 three to nine by 40 uh, scope. It's got your uh, standard turrets uh, that are uh, on top and on the side for windage and elevation and uh, comes with a standard bra style protection. <coughs> but uh, like I said, I'm gonna be replacing that with uh, Butler Creek lip open uh, and uh, and getting it mounted in my M223 mounting hardware. So these Butler Creek uh, protections are uh, actually really inexpensive. It cost me uh, eight to nine dollars, depending upon uh, whether or not you get just the standard clip with the thumb or the trigger release. Uh, so I got the, the trigger release for the uh, rear optic and the standard thumb release for for the front. So these uh, have a rubber collar to them, which is pretty flexible. So it's you know when you're uh, when you're purchasing these, make sure you have your scope with you so that you can size these appropriately. Uh, they make them for pretty much every scope out there, uh, so you can slide those on. They're nice and snug. You want to make sure that you line them up real well so that uh, when you're flipping them open they uh, go where they're supposed to, which essentially is up. And then uh, putting on the one for my side optic. Screws put in. You want to get it 
nice and tight so that your scope doesn't shift around uh, while you're firing. Um, but you also want to be careful that you don't strip these screws out. The uh, scope obviously won't get damaged if you do that. Um, but uh, this particular scope, when I purchased it just around Christmas time, it's about 150 bucks. The mount is another $75, $80. So uh, you definitely don't want to strip that out and then just have to go buy another one. Unless you just got money to burn. Now you can easily use a screw or drill driver to tighten these up if you have a ratcheting one. Uh, if you're going to do that, I would suggest at least you use a ratcheting one. Personally, this doesn't take a whole lot of time, as you can see, uh, and I would rather do it by hand so that I don't take a chance at stripping those screws out. So you just want to get them nice and tight. And again, so your scope doesn't move around while you're firing. Make sure you have got your turret centered and upright in the right position. Stay tuned. 